Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to The Worst Thing That Ever Happened to Me by Jaden Animations. Now, I have not seen this, but uh, yeah, anyways guys, we're going to in the description, make sure to subscribe to Jaden Animations, like, so much description. Anyways, let's get right into it. So now. imagine this. It's Christmas Eve. You're getting ready for bed and everything is prepared but it's, for the it, perfect it's June. Christmas morning. Chestnuts <laughs> are roasting on an open fire. The cookies are out. The house is silent Damn, and calm. So Everyone close. has the standard things on their Christmas list. Puppies, Nintendo Switches, for father to finally find milk. But yours is different. All your life oh, God. you loved and have been fascinated by insects you were teased in school for catching ladybugs in the bushes ostracized from everyone for gleefully watching the grasshoppers you've spent years trying to repress is this your love is this a real story or is this like a made up one? it this year is different you're going to ask santa for the one thing that brings you joy in life ants you tuck yourself into bed awaiting the early morning to see if your wish comes true. And as you're thinking about parenting your future ants, your eyelids feel heavy as you drift off to sleep. You don't know how many hours have passed, but you're suddenly awakened by a strange sensation. Your body is burning, flaring up, itching everywhere. The worst itching you've ever experienced in your life. But what's happening? Is it a Christmas miracle? Did you finally receive the ants you were desperately hoping for? Your skin is getting more and more itchy by the second. You're in the most discomfort you've ever Oh, felt that. Wasn't that it? Pain. No doubt about it. Ants. All over. You rip open the sheets to find... Oh. It's not a whole colony of ants attacking you. It's hives. Yeah. So back to me. I've never had hives until last December. And yeah, it was wasn't it? Yeah. That never physically happened to me. Around the night of the 21st, this is I was something relaxing and playing video games on my <laughs> couch. Ari was on me because it's snuggly and nice. But about an hour or so in, I started feeling itchy around my neck and shoulders where he'd been sitting. I didn't think much of it, but when I was getting ready for bed, I realized the area that was itchy was actually kind of red. On paper, that seems a bit like... Huh, that's not really normal. But you scratch yourself all the time and get a bit red. I just thought, eh, Ari's nails are probably a bit too long and irritated my skin. I'll have to cut them tomorrow. And left it at that. 4 a.m., I'm woken up by more itchy. I itched it, and it got double itchy. Well, that doesn't seem right. I went to the bathroom to see okay. what and the area that was irritated before was even more red, and maybe a bit bigger this time. Uh, I can't remember. It was 4 a.m. I was like, uh, that's not great. And then went back to bed. I mean, <laughs> there wasn't anything I could do about it. I didn't have okay. any ice cream or anything. I don't All think that's how you get rid of hives. Mini ibuprofens and a dried out cleaning wipe. The next morning after a bad night's sleep, I got out of bed and whoop, it spread to my back. Yep, this is not good. Did I do anything about it? Nope. I was like, well, I sure hope this cures itself somehow. I'm gonna go to work now. But after like an hour of sweating from discomfort and getting nothing done, I decided, yeah, I should probably go to urgent care. So I went to urgent care. Have you eaten urgent anything new care. or that you're allergic to? No. Have you taken any medication that's new or you're allergic to? No. Have you been bitten by any bugs you might be allergic to? No. Hmm. Looks like dermatitis. So I got a dermatitis diagnosis, picked up the pills and lotion he prescribed Cancer. me, and by the time I got home, I was so itchy it started to feel like actual pain. I ran into my room and immediately took the medication and started hoping I would feel better soon. All I could do was lay on my bed and do nothing because every time I moved or touched something, it would send shocks of pain and irritation down my body. Uh. Not to have that. I decided to call my friend to tell them what was happening to keep my mind off everything and use them for moral support because I was going crazy. After maybe an hour, was I that was like, <sighs> actually? I think I feel absolutely worse. Everywhere I put the lotion was even more red and itchy. It was spreading to my legs and hands, and I felt like I provoked the devil. This must be the karma for swearing that one time. I told my friend. I'm in so much pain and discomfort, I can't think straight, and I've been sitting on the floor not being able to move for 30 minutes. What should I do? Go to the hospital? You think so? Yes, go to the hospital. I don't know. Maybe if I just wait a bit more. Go to the hospital. Okay. I arrived at the hospital and hobbled okay. in the best I could because the feeling of my shoes and clothes rubbing against my skin made me want to cry. They were really busy, so I had to sit on a bench in a hallway for about an hour. I was finally taken to a bed, given a shot oh, yeah. and a mystery pill, and about 40 minutes later, Placebo. I felt better. But they kept me there for four more hours just to be safe. By the time I got home, I was sighing with relief. It felt so good to not be in total body pain and wanting to claw my skin off. 
I'd forgotten that feeling. The hospital gave me a new prescription because they were like, Pretty sure you have hives, not dermatitis. But I didn't get it filled because it was late and I figured I could just get the new medication tomorrow since I was feeling all right. The good thing was I was feeling better and had the right diagnosis. But the scary thing that got me worried was this all started when Ari was on me. The flare up started in the exact area he was sitting on the other night. So if I hadn't eaten or done anything different from my usual day to day life, could that mean I developed a really bad allergic reaction to him? Uh, so that terrified me a bit. Anyways, I had to see my family for Christmas and was worried that I'd have to miss my flight because of this. But things seemed all good now. 1 a.m., woke up itchy. It was back and ready to absolutely just kick my teeth in. I wasn't freed from this hive's curse. I'd only escaped its grasp for a few hours. Oh, I what yet, the But I knew it wouldn't take long to get there. So I raced to the nearest 24 hour pharmacy to pick up my new prescription, took it and then just got an Uber to the airport because I couldn't sleep. Early flight? Not really. I'm just getting there early. <laughs> well, it's always good to be early for flights. When is it? 3 p.m. I tried to get a bit of sleep in the airport, but eh, it didn't work. The good thing was that the prescription was doing a relatively good job at keeping back the hives. I could still feel the itchy, but it was like muffled, if that makes sense. I got on my flight no problems oh. and landed in Arizona to my very calm parents who were like, Hives? Who are you okay? What? How'd you get hives? Are you okay? The hives had been manageable the whole day until I was getting ready to go to bed and they started flaring up again, this time worse than ever. I thought I'd experienced pain before, but the hives were mocking me. The previous ones were teasers. This time they were dishing up the main course. Everything was put into mega gear, served up on the <laughs> of Gordon Ramsay himself. See if you like this, bit. Off to the hospital we went, 12 o'clock at night. We arrived at a normal hospital first, and by the time we arrived, I could barely walk. I was in so much pain and agony. I shuffled in, hunched over like I was 95 years old and about to just fall over and turn to dust immediately. Also, I was actually crying at this point. No, oh, I'm gonna cry, this hurts, boo-hoo. Nah, this time was like, yeah, time to cry now. <laughs> I wasn't having a good time. We sat there for maybe 40 minutes and no oh, one was God. helping us. So my dad asked how long they estimated the wait would be, to which they said an hour. So we were like, uh... My dad decided to take me to a local urgent care because they've got a family friend who works there. It was more familiar and also probably less busy. Oh, okay. We arrived and had a bit of a wait, but I was finally admitted into a room. The doctor walked in and was like, Yep, looks like hives, and stuck me with an EpiPen. I'm lucky enough to not have any really bad allergies like peanuts or something. I know a good amount oh, of yeah. people who are like, lol, if I sniff the smallest dust fragment of a peanut, <laughs> my body will just give up on me. So they have an EpiPen on them at all times. I'm allergic to cats, but they just make me sneeze, so I've never experienced the magic of oh. an EpiPen before. And my God, I love that cats, thing was by like Jesus just being injected straight into my blood. Within what? seconds, my body started feeling better and all of my hives cleared up immediately. If you've never almost died from an allergic reaction, I totally hope you have one just so you can experience the magic of an EpiPen. I mean, I hope you never almost die, but I'm just saying, if you do, anyway, problem solved. The doctor what didn't the say anything else. He kind of just gave me the EpiPen and sent me on my way when he saw I was doing better, which fair enough. I went to bed in relief. Finally, it was all over. I can have a nice Christmas after all with my family and live on Wait. in peace. 8 a.m. No. Woke up, hives all over. This time, I wanted to just close my eyes again and perish. Oh, oh. This one, this was the worst it had ever been. I didn't even know it was possible to experience this level of itchy combined with unbearable pain. I was in awe. It's amazing oh. how absolutely torturous this pain is right now. And I haven't even been stabbed. The day before when I said it was in mega gear and the main course, I was kidding. This was one of those meals where they give you the appetizers and the main course, but surprise, the dessert is a knuckle sandwich. All the hives in the world were like, this one, let's get this one. I was covered in bumps and red. My mom looked at me right before we were about to go to urgent care and her face was like, 
I don't think there's any words that could describe how absolutely abhorrent and atrocious I felt. The itchiness was so extreme it felt like needles all over. Every time something just grazed my skin it felt like, yep, this is it's time to die. See y'all later. <laughs> I didn't care. Couldn't move. Looked like a boiled oh my shrimp. This oh. guy, uh, Dr. Cruz, our family friend I mentioned earlier. Mm. He's super nice and caring and an amazing doctor to go along with it. First of all, I got another EpiPen. Yay! And then he prescribed me like four new medications, none of which I remember the names of. But one of them was steroids. I can now say I've been on steroids <laughs> before. So yeah. I can probably beat you all in football now. I'll cut the fat and just say the medications Dr. Cruz prescribed me were it. They were the ones that blocked the hives and helped me recover. I've been freed for the first time in three days and they never came back after that. I took some blood tests and turns out I didn't test positive in any allergic reactions they looked for. I was able to come home and Ari didn't make me flare up so I wasn't allergic to him. That was a huge relief. I had to seriously consider if I would have to get rid of Ari if he was the one giving me hives because I just couldn't live with hives that extreme. But it wasn't, so we're good. The only thing we could conclude was it was just caused by a huge buildup of stress. I'd been really busy and burnt out from a bunch of conventions and traveling up until that point, so they said, yeah, stress combined with an immune system glitch is probably what caused it. We don't know what okay. else it could be. And we're like, all right. And I have doctors medicine. for you. So moral of the story is okay. take breaks before your immune system turns on you. Because let me tell you, your immune system does not hold back. Okay. What the heck? Okay, why was that the freaking Terminator? But, um, yeah, honestly, this was a pretty good video. I hope you guys enjoyed me staring at the screen the entire time. Uh, but, um... Yeah, anyways, guys, uh, leave a like in the video, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!